Hey, here's a quick lesson. Ever since the craze of seven and eight string guitars and, you know, gent music, a lot of modern metal tends to have riffs based around one single note. So stuff like, you know, just banging away at that low note. From a songwriting standpoint, there's actually something very interesting we could try doing with this. Generally, people will try to write leads or counter melodies to these riffs in the key of, you know, B minor, since the lowest note I'm playing is B, or B major if you're looking for a major sound. But how about instead of looking at scales, we look at triads. 19th century musicologist Hugo Riemann would study the relationships between different triads directly through the use of triadic transformation. Triadic transformation is a very long topic, which if anyone's interested, I'd love to discuss in another video. Years later, several music theorists would put together this chart known as a tonnage chart, which gives you a nice little visual representation of what exactly Riemann was studying. The basic idea is that every note in the chromatic scale is displayed on each of the dots. If you were to connect any three of the dots to form a triangle, all three of those notes would create a triad, which is represented by the chord symbol that's found in the triangles that are created. Now let's look at the note B. If we see the note B, we have six different triads that are surrounding that, meaning that there are six different triads that all contain the note B. The reason why this is interesting is because if we were just playing a riff using nothing but the note B, we could actually just switch between those six different triads whenever we wanted, despite the fact that not all of them exactly exist in the same key. Now let's go ahead and take two of those triads, let's say the A flat minor and the G major, because I think those sound the most interesting. <laughs> Further, you can actually think of each chord as being modal and apply a different mode to each one of those chord changes. So let's say you wanted the chord changes to be A flat minor, G major, E major, B minor. Now the A flat minor we could play A flat Dorian, the uh, G major chord we could play G Lydian, the E major chord we could play E Lydian, and then that final B minor chord we could just play B Aeolian or B minor. <laughs> Thank you.